Hey guys, I'm organizing my videos. Or not my videos. Uh, whatever, I'll do that later. Anyway, this is going to be another Stupinion. This is going to go back to the openings. Um, I haven't checked the comments if I've gotten any for the previous four, so I'm just going to do what I feel passionate about right now. It's called The Rock City Boy, um, and it's actually pretty good. It's most of what I've I'm reviewing is technically classified as J-pop, but I really, really, it's so addictive once you get used to it. Um, but the Rock City Boy, um, it's it's got that kind of mellow, not melodrama, but mellow drama with a space in between if that makes any sense. Like, it has that mellow feel, but it can transition, or not in more, not necessarily drama, but action. It can transition from mellowness to action-ish. Um, and I think it does that very well. The beat, I think is very, very cool. It's a little lacking on the instruments. I do, I do love that bass, because I have a sh very strange obsession with the bass. I love the bass. It's very cool. Um, I do wish it had more of that, and it wasn't so overshadowed by the vocals, even though they're pretty balanced. But uh, sorry, I just got off my Twilight rant. Um, anyway. I really love it. It's actually very good, and I do recommend it. Again, it's called Rock City Boy. Go check it out. You probably will hate it because it's sort of an acquired taste. I don't know if it's necessarily what you would call an acquired taste by definition, but it took me a while to get used to it. But once I listened to it a couple times, it actually it blew me away. So take take with that what you will. Um, subscribe, like, comments. If you, if not, criticism is always welcome. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later.